Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here with another chemistry lesson and today uh, you're going to need your periodic table and you are going to need a polyatomic ion list and if you can't uh, or if you don't have one or if you don't have it memorized you can go right over here to this page put that in your browser and just uh, get it free you can get a whole list of the most common polyatomic ions and you will need to know oxidation numbers how to determine charges and oxidation rules and as always there are videos dealing with these subjects so uh, make sure you know these and make sure you know your oxidation rules all right let's look at the problem in which compound does sulfur have the highest oxidation state in H2SO3 or in H2SO4 one of the first things that we'll really need to remember here and get ready to analyze is that the charge of an atom or ion or the possible charge is the oxidation so the possible charge of an atom or ion is your oxidation and you need to have that in mind as we uh, go through the problem we also uh, realize that the sulfur is part of two polyatomic ions SO3 and SO4 so really all we really need to know is the SO3 and the SO4 the two hydrogens aren't going to have anything to do with the charge on the sulfur and the polyatomic ions both have a negative two charge and you can get that off the polyatomic ion uh, list if you don't have them memorized so with that let's go ahead and determine the SO3 now in the SO3 we have a negative two charge and we have one sulfur and three oxygen we don't know what the sulfur's charge is but if you look at your oxidation rules most of the time oxygen is a negative two except for when maybe it is in a peroxide then it's a negative one or if it's with a fluorine it's going to be a positive one because of fluorine's high electronegativity so three uh, times negative two is negative six and so the total charge on three oxygen ions there is negative six well we know the whole charge of the polyatomic ion is going to be negative two so then uh, we can go ahead and write a little algebra that the charge of the sulfur plus the charge of the oxygen has to equal negative two do a little bit of the algebra of magic add negative or positive six to both sides and we get plus four and that's the charge of sulfur in this ion let's look at SO4 in SO4 we again have one sulfur but this time we have four oxygen we don't know the charge of the sulfur but again we do know that oxygen is usually negative two and four times negative two is going to be negative eight write down our negative eight we know that the sum of the sulfur and the oxygen has to be negative two so do a little algebra here and add eight to both sides and we get positive six and so then we see that the sulfur in this ion is a plus six let's recap everything we used oxidation numbers we determined the oxidation and we we're good if you have any questions uh, send an email to mr. cause at mr. .com and check out mr. Causey's world.com and go to the PowerPoint videos and uh, more information there lots of videos at my YouTube go there and sign up for uh, my YouTube channel Happy Ions everybody